So I'm going to start by adding my reference image. I like to use reference images and it's always good to use them, especially if you're a beginner because it just makes your modeling process so much easier. So I'm going to start by adding a circle and moving that down along the, the Z axis, scaling that to match my reference and just lining that up. That should be good. Go into edit mode, extrude along the Z axis. We can extrude up to here, extrude again up to where the spout begins and we can extrude just a little bit more up to the rim. That should be good. And with the loop still selected, we can hit E and extrude just to extrude outwards just ever so slightly and move that up just, just so it's tilted just a little bit. All right, great. Then we can go into the X-ray mode and actually first close the bottom of our beaker hit that bottom loop, click E and S to extrude inwards, E and S to extrude again, and F to close. And there we have it. And then to create this spout part of the beaker, we can actually click or select these two vertices right at the tip here and G to move them along the x-axis. You can actually move this down so you can see it a little bit. And we can move these along the z-axis just to mimic what we have here. And don't worry about extending or going past what the reference image has because when we add the subdivision it's kind of going to get smaller again. So you can actually move that just a little bit more along the x-axis, kind of like so. And uh, there we have it. We have our basic, very, very basic beaker. Um, we can go again into front-facing view mode and select the bottom loop, control B to add a bevel and increase those segments kind of like so and uh yeah there you have it basic structure of a beaker all right now that we have our basic beaker structure we can actually hide the reference image because we don't need that anymore and we can go into object mode we can add a subdivision of two and go into the modifiers tab. I like to keep it in x-ray mode because I, when we add the solidify modifier, I like to see the thickness of it. So what I'm going to do next is add a solidify modifier and increase the thickness to 0 0.03. That should be good. So, yeah, this is our, the basic, the very, very basic bare bone structure of our beaker. We can actually shade smooth as well here. And um, we can now go into the materials tab, add a material, change that to gloss. And increase the transmission to one and reduce the roughness down to zero to give it that glass texture. And we also go into the settings and Oh, well, first we would have to go and change the render engine to cycles. 
and go back into the materials tab look for the settings change the blend mode to alpha blend and the shadow type to alpha clip and we can just add a refraction of about 0.1 so we go into the rendered view you can't really see it because the background is really dark so what i like to do is just add a mesh plane can leave that there actually scale it but move this on along the z-axis kind of like so and there you go you actually have you can kind of see the glass material can increase the light up to maybe 10,000 should be all right 10,000 maybe even scale this mesh up just a little bit and um, there you have it your blade your basic glass beaker so now I'm going to add the calibrations to my beaker and I already prepared an image for that in Inkscape and I'm just gonna add that image mesh is plain and I'll go and look for that I have my beaker label and, um, I can scale this actually move this along the z-axis go into materials tab just because it's going to be faster move that along the y and can spin that along the z-axis 90 degrees all right there we go so we can move this along the y scale that a little bit i'm going to front view scale that again just to align it with uh, our beaker here all right so back into the modifiers tab we can add a shrink wrap modifier and our target object will be of course our beaker and you can actually put it at an offset of 0.01 and perhaps scale that along the y sorry along the x-axis We can scale that again. And then I also like to add a subdivision modifier and place that before the shrink wrap. Place that as simple, then increase the levels. That way you kind of see, you can now see your calibrations on the on your beaker model so we can actually increase that up to four or five that looks pretty good we can again scale that along the x axis scale that a little bit just so it fits correctly and that actually looks pretty good we can actually move our plane just down just a little bit and um, there you have it so we can go back into rendered view see how that looks and if you like it then there you have it this is your basic beaker modeled in blender you can actually adjust this just a little bit because we can see some um clipping here it's not placed very well so I usually like to just play with that a little bit
it. Looks pretty good. And that's your basic beaker in Blender.